The Flamer is one of the bosses guarding the diesel fuel you need to fuel the ship in order to cross the river. It is recommended to bring a crossbow with either flame arrows or poison arrows. I would recommend anywhere from 60 to 90 arrows, preferably, as the Flamer has a considerable amount of health and you want to account for any missed shots you might have. And of course, if you have any guns such as the pistol, the shotgun, or the sniper rifle, those two are great weapons to utilize. But do keep in mind that ammunition is very limited in Ares virus survival. There are two attack patterns that you need to know for the Flamer. The more common attack pattern is the half circle, but this half circle is a little bit unique in that it does continuous damage as you stay in the red area. In order to dodge this attack pattern, it's important to stay close to the Flamer as you can circle to its back where the half circle is not, thus dodging all of the damage. After you do a little bit of damage to the Flamer, you unlock the second attack pattern in which the Flamer throws five Molotov cocktails that explode in a wide radius. In order to dodge this one better, it's recommended to stay further away from the Flamer as the travel distance of the Molotov cocktail increases the further you are away from the Flamer. Once you've unlocked both attack patterns, there is a systematic way of going about defeating the Flamer. There are always three half circles before there are five Molotov cocktails. So if you can keep a counter on top of your mind about which attack pattern you're on and how many has happened, you can know what positioning is best for you and your character. 